the rim. The counter punch. Back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know this your boy Love One the Hate One. Let's go ahead and talk about this shit real quick. And man, I know I'm kind of late on this shit, but I want to talk about Vasil Lomachenko and him basically rewinding the clock when it comes down to recently what we just seen against George Cambosis. Now, I've been telling you guys that George Cambosis, he's kind of trash. He got kind of lucky against Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo Lopez came in that fight trying to knock him out. In my opinion, didn't take the fight too seriously. Kind of underestimated George Cambosis. But it is what it is. He got the W. He won the fight. We can't complain about that. But here's my take. I feel like Lomachenko, he's a problem for anybody right now. All right? A lot of people feel like he beat Devin Haney. He was the person to really give Devin Haney his first loss. A lot of people feel like, okay, he beat Devin. I mean, it, just think about it. At 135, man, I just don't know, man. I, it's like I damn near want to say he could beat Tank. But I can't do that because Tank still got to get past Frank Martin. And I'm going to really break that shit down. But right now, I don't know. You guys, man, um, Lomachenko has what, what it takes to um, really do some shit at 135. What he just did in his last fight, right? He beat George Cambosa. That's a real win right there, okay? So you can't act like he's an email champion. He basically got lucky to get that belt. And the way he did it, he stopped him, okay? Um, T.O. couldn't do that. And fucking Devin Haney couldn't do that in two fights, all right? So um, that's why I told you guys, and I hate to take credit away from, you know, Devin Haney, but he was lucky to get that belt at 135, you guys, because any top fighter, I told you guys, any top fighter at 135, including Teofimo Lopez, beats Joris Cambosis, okay? So you guys, I keep trying to tell you guys, you got to miss me with that bullshit now. When it comes down to Tank, man, I just wanted to give you guys a few thoughts about that before I get into the Tank fight. Tank got to get past Frank Martin. I'm not sleeping on Frank Martin, but let's just assume that Tank get past Frank Martin, which I think he will. I personally feel like Frank Martin may have his moments of success, but I just feel like the buildup for the fight, Tank is already in Frank Martin's head. You could tell. And I feel like the event of the fight is going to get to Frank Martin. He has never been on the stage that big before. And I feel like that's going to be detrimental towards him. I really do feel that way. Tank versus Lomachenko, I see that as a mega fight. And the reason I could talk about this fight now is because even if Tank do lose to Frank Martin, that's still a very good fight with Lomachenko. You know, styles make fights, you guys. So I could still talk about that fight in a sense. Now... The problem with Lomachenko facing Tank is Lomachenko, he has to fight a perfect fight, and I feel like he can. Tank only need one shot for him to get bailed out. Tank kind of reminds me of Deontay Wilder. Tank begins this as outbox like a motherfucker. I have Roley outboxing Tank. And some people will lie to themselves and say, oh, Tank was letting him do that. Listen, I always tell you guys this. Nobody is letting nobody win rounds, and nobody is letting nobody punch them in the face. That's why I think the two main people that could get Tank is Lomachenko and Shakur Stevenson. But they have to fight the perfect fight. Like I told you guys in the past, it's like rock climbing against these type of fighters. Like Tank and Deontay Wilder. It's like climbing Mount Everest with no type of protection. You don't got nothing. You're just climbing solo dolo against guys like Deontay Wilder and Javante Davis. You could be almost at the top of the fucking mountain and still fall and get killed. Almost at the top. Basically, in the 11th round, 10th round, Tank will just catch you flush and get you the fuck up out of there. And... You could be doing good in the fight and just get caught. That's what I'm saying. So if, you know, if Tank, if, I mean, if Lomachenko don't get caught by Tank, 
I feel like Lomachenko is going to be good. But what makes this fight so scary for Tank is even if he catches Lomachenko flush, it still may not be an easy victory because Lomachenko knows how to roll with shots. And that takes a lot of steam off of your punches. All right. Like Tank, I could see Tank striking out all fucking night against Lomachenko. But the flip side of the coin is, I could see Tank, man, he, man, listen, man, one thing about Tank, he is very explosive. He could punch with either hand. He has a devastating uppercut. He has a devastating um, left hook. And he can go downstairs on Lomachenko to get in. But Lomachenko, that in and out, that movement, that is not an easy fight for Tank, man. A lot of you guys acting like that's just a gimme fight for Tank Davis, and I just do not see that. Now, this is not a prediction video. We're just talking a little shit about it because I need a little more time to break that down before you guys know me. I'm going to give you guys an actual prediction on who I got taking the fight when it's actually announced. But I feel like that fight is just inevitable on happening because, number one, it's already sold. Number two, Lomachenko and Tank got a big name. Both have big followings in the sport. And that's a fight that has been talked about for ages. And to put Frosten on top of the fucking cake, Lomachenko has a belt at 135. I remember one time when Tank was with Floyd. Now, we all know Floyd was keeping Tank away from Loma. But Floyd said, if Lomachenko gets a title... Tank will take that fight. Well, he has a title, and it's at 135. That's another good thing. It's not like um, Lomachenko's at 130, but he's coming up to 135, or he's at 140, but he got to rehydrate down to 135. He's at 135. They have to meet up. So with that being said, Tank, take care of business against Frank Martin. That way, we can see this monumental matchup. That's my thoughts on this shit. I am out.